What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel and the video review of the BAT 100, the 100 millimeter mini FPV racer uh, plug and play version. It only comes in the plug and play version. What is special about this one here is it is brushless and it is 1S. That's right. Look at how tiny those little motors are. Can you see it? It's very small, guys. Here, let me help you out. There it is. How small can you get on such a small little brushless motor? It's like the size of a brushed motor, just about. Yeah, I know, I went a little too far with the magnifying glass there, but I'm just pointing out that this is one of the smallest brushless motors that I have ever encountered. So let's go directly into the motors. It is the 0705 15,000 kV motors. And the branded name of the motors is Full Speed. And I believe that is the manufacturer's name of this quadcopter. And it is paired up with some 56 millimeter two bladed props. And it is mounted on a carbon fiber stretched X frame configuration and looks to be about one and a half millimeter in thickness. And the top plate is about half of the thickness of that. So it looks like about 0.75 millimeter on the top plate. And we are given this Lazy mini plug for the battery connection. And the battery that they give you is one of these guys here and there's no marking on the battery here and this is but it says it is a 3.7 volt 500 milliamp 30 c battery and they say it's supposed to give you a run time of around four to six minutes i do believe in that run time because of the size of the motors but i'll be safe and i'll still use my three minute timer to bring this baby in now the battery bay um, has these uh, little rubber band hooks. Uh, it came with some black rubber bands, but those rubber bands were too long for just a single loop and it was too small to uh, double it up. So I providing my own rubber band for the battery bay and I did uh, cut out a small piece of foam pad and hot glued it in place to protect and um, safely um, situate the battery on the bottom there now let's go directly to the top now take a look at the top and check out the all-in-one fpv camera it is the 600 tv line cmos camera and it is pal ntsc switchable of course it is the 5.8 gigahertz and it is the 25 milliwatt 48 channel vtx and it is sitting on top of a what is that? The safety green color, 3D printed looking plastic mount. And it is just sticky taped on there as well. And it came with that black sticky tape, which I despise. So I took that off and I put my own white sticky tape, which is a lot stronger. And we are supplied with the dipole antenna on that VTX. Now, there was a buzzer right on top of the middle of the top plate. I moved it off to the side. It also has an LED light on it as well. And I did change the sticky tape on it as well to my white sticky tape, moved it over. I put my receiver right next to it and I'm using the AC800 FR Sky receiver, which I borrowed from the King Kong Tiny 7. And it is connected to the flight controller and the flight controller is the teeny 1s f3 6dof flight controller with osd and it was pre-flashed with omnibus 3.1.7 firmware which is the latest so that was really great and there is the micro usb port on the side now this quadcopter did not come with any documents uh, at all, no instruction manual to go about attaching your receiver. So I went online and searched for that uh, flight controller and this is what I found. So 
I know now where to hook up the receiver. There's the ground, there's the uh, 5 volt, and there's the signal port. So I've attached it right on top of there. And I took some photos of me uh, putting it on there with the receiver. So take a look at some of the photos. All right, so finally we come down to the PDB slash 4-in-1 BL Heli S 10 amp D-Shot 600 supporting ESCs and what looks to be soft mounted. The whole stack is kind of soft mounted onto the frame. So that is just fantastic. So I can't wait until I try this baby out. So let's go right into it and do a little line of sight flight test as well as a little FPV flight test. Oh, and I'm always forgetting to tell you what it came with. It came with these uh, extra set of props. All of the props were in here, all eight of them. So you need to place the props yourself. Just stick it in there. And here is the bag that the battery came in and there are the rubber bands and they give you a, a Velcro tab here as well. And this is the foam. Uh, protection inside of the box that the quadcopter came in in here and the battery and the the props were right in there as well so that is about everything that came in the box so now let's go and go for that little test flight all right we are bound and ready to go so let's go and take off with this guy here arming the motors all right Okay, first thing I notice right off the bat is I do need to up on my throttle above 50% to keep this baby afloat in the air here. And it's slightly off to the side. I think I needed to reconfigure it better um, on the accelerometer. But here we go. Very quiet. It is like I'm flying one of those brushed motor quads. Not bad. Not the greatest power, guys. That's just about full throttle there. So let's bring it in here. Woohoohoo! All right. So let's give it a little punch out 1s style there you go the 1s punch out and it's going off to the side <laughs> I need to recalibrate this thing and one more time there you go a hey, pretty decent for a 1s and brushless on top of that how cool is that huh so you can probably uh, mod the battery connector, the Lazy Mini connector. So you can take the other flat style 1S connectors as well. And I do have a lot of batteries for that one. A lot of the 600 milliamp batteries. However, this battery here, I don't have many. I just have two. This one and the one that came with the King Kong Tiny 7. Those are the two batteries that I have so let's go ahead and bring this baby in and she's flying very well too let me go ahead and go over to acro and in acro I don't have to worry about the accelerometer so that is really nice okay so it is doing very well in acro as well very stable 
Very nice, very nice. Wow. One S, brushless. I just can't get over that. Okay, let me go back down to angle mode and bring this baby in. All right, let's go for that FPV flight. All right, we are ready to go. Arming. All right. I know it's a very tiny little quad. The AC800 should give us a pretty good distance as well. Okay, I'm getting a little snow. I panicked there a little bit. Okay, 100 meter bush. So the AC800 is capable of 100 meters, no problem. Uh, there's some snow there. All in all though, it's very nice quality video feed here. And there's no jello, thank God. Okay, a little bit of static because I'm behind of the car. So we'll keep it in front of the car. Very nice controls, guys. It's just the fact that I need to throttle up a little bit higher than normal. Because of these tiny little motors and, of course, these uh, double bladed props don't give you too much lift so if you change the props into some tri-bladed props it'll probably do a lot better as far as lift is concerned let's go ahead and see if I can do a flip oh nice and smooth flip too how cool is that jeez see if I can do a roll here woo hoo hoo Oh, I have to throttle up a lot to get out of that loop. Okay, so. Nice. You can do acro maneuvers in this thing. But mainly this is made for small backyards inside the house, actually. It's a nice little indoor flyer. Let's see. A little bit of proximity flying here yeah very good controls guys no problem there a little bit drifty but you are able to control it in tight quarters yeah so very very nice quad cutter man and how cool is that 1s brushless still can't get over that really really cool man awesome let's go around the car yep close enough uh, even though car is blocking there's no problems very very nice awesome awesome that's the speed for you it is not full on throttle I'm just cruising Oh man, this is a really, really nice clock out there, guys. Awesome. Awesome clock out there, man absolutely fantastic <laughs> okay 3.2 volts I don't know this one might give you a flight time of like they say four to six minutes okay I'm already been flying for three minutes and 40 some seconds so that's pretty fantastic awesome 3.1 I think the low voltage warning is set on lower than that so I'm gonna go ahead and bring it in I've been flying for about four minutes a little over four minutes and that's quite a long time for a little racer this is just fantastic I don't want to bring it in though it's really really nice guys you got complete control on your fingertips. Woohoo! Nice. 
You can do flips and rolls. Oop, I hit the bush. All right, time to land anyways. I was flying too low. All right, that is the flight of the BAT-100 with the 1S battery. Awesome. All right, just got done flying the BAT-100 with the 1S brushless motors and it is just rocking it, man. This thing is just awesome. I mean, I went all the way over to the 100 meter bush. Little bit of a static breakup because of the dipole antenna, but all in all, fantastic video feed and it was able to do maneuvers as well it's just a little bit lacking in power and lift because of these uh, two-sided uh, props i believe that might be uh, the reason why if you probably can get yourself some uh, stick-on type push-in type tri-bladed props it'll probably do a lot better and this is just a fantastic of a flyer guys it is just awesome and it's very highly maneuverable you can go in tight spaces so very very well designed quadcopter and it is perfect for outdoors backyard flying and indoor flying as well i'm pretty sure so that is about it for the bat 100 and I can't stop uh, looking at it. It is so freaking nice. And it is a, just a fantastic of a flyer. So thank you very much for watching, guys. We'll see you again next time.